They're red, they're rectangular, and they're rock hard. We all know that a building's walls are made out of bricks, don't we? Well, not necessarily, because this wall and the rest of this building here at the University of Bath is made out of something you might not think of, straw. Professor Peter Walker was part of the team that over 10 years developed the straw building. This is a straw bale building. It's a bale house at the University of Bath and we use straw inside the wooden panels as a form of insulation. And insulation is there to keep the people warm inside the building, so we use less energy to heat the building. But buildings made of something other than bricks isn't new. In fact, it's really old. Until bricks were made in huge numbers in the Industrial Revolution, the houses of poorer people were often made using many things like straw, wood, clay and even animal dung. And straw is something we have plenty of in the UK. Each year farms produce just under 4 million tonnes of leftover straw and with a three bedroom house needing seven tonnes, that's enough to make half a million new houses every year. So this is a model of the straw house, can you tell us how this works? Yeah, this is a, a one-fifth scale model of the panels that make the house. This is a wooden frame, which actually is the main structure of each of the panels. So the frame carries the weight of the building. And then inside the frame, we fill it with these straw bales. Imagine the building's wearing a nice woolly jumper. So it's there to keep the, the heat in the building. And these buildings aren't just an idea at a university. Right now, seven houses made of straw panels are for sale in Bristol, on top of this development already built in Yorkshire. It's thought that in England, 230,000 new homes are needed every year. Last year, only half that was built. So with so much straw available, could we be living in straw buildings like this? <sighs> I can't blow it down anyway. <laughs>